Um, we're going to be joining the Entente because, like, this is a possibility. Like, Belgium is able to join the Entente and Kaiserreich. I, I don't think I've ever actually seen it happen. But we're going to try. We're going we're gonna to try and make this work. And hopefully it goes okay. I have no idea. Like, it might end up going, like, really, really poorly because, hey, Germany might invade us. I don't quite remember how this is going to go. Uh, making Vilt Creek Cruisers app. No, just build convoys. Fine, you know what? Fine, finish this ship. It'll be done next year. Just finish that and then we'll build some convoys afterwards. Uh, ignore you. We will get our free Army Navy experience. I finally reinstalled the mod. So thumbs up to me there. We got policy towards the Netherlands, which you don't really care about. Um, economic policy, political actions. We don't really care about you. Ignore that for now. We are currently 20 factories. We are 4, 1, 15. Not a bad ratio. I uh, will definitely build more military factories in Brabant. We are 5 out of 17 total divisions. So we can definitely get our military up. Uh, just build, build more troops. Research. Let's go with our basics here. Um, construction. And we'll go for... Oh, we're going to butcher so many pronunciations. It's going to be great. And we'll get better research as well. So I'm just trying to think, how exactly do we get... To get the Entente, because I know we have to reinstall the Belgian monarch. I, like, I don't remember exactly what his name is. I think we into like an A. It might be Albert. I don't quite remember. We need to try to get him up here. Uh, we will go for... Civilian construction speed, basically trash, but allows us to get two free military factors to get war bonds. Not terrible. And uh, we can't do this until November, so we wait a bit, bit on that. So, you know, let's go for the Solvay Institute. And let's get started. Status report. Location of Flanders Wallonia. Well, it's right here. I can, I can tell you that. Located on the western border of the German Empire and bordering the commune of France, Flanders Wallonia is a very strategic but vulnerable position. At the vanguard of the west against Syndicalist Menace, we are supposed to stop their advance on the bunkers of the, Lu the Ludendorff Line. I'm assuming that's probably what it says. And push together with German allies into the French heartland. To the east, the German behemoths watch us closely and will prove difficult. It will prove to be a difficult enemy should the need arise. North of us lies the Netherlands, neutral in the Vild Creek. Our former masters don't see much of a threat with their ill-equipped army and friendly relations. Occupation major battles during the first Vild Creek have clearly marked our country and hefty reparations and general disamendment of our industry base and posts have pose on us have left us weak. What was once the eighth greatest industrial power in the world has been greatly humbled. Still, our people are sturdy and managed to rebuild our industrial might to a level approaching its former extent. However, as much of our industry is hopelessly reliant on German investments, there remains a great deal of work to be done. In order to re uh, reintegrate our economy, the Aldred Canal had, was dug post-war, connecting the important harbor of Antwerp with the steel industries of the Liège. Coal mining has been expanded into the province of Limburg, further stimulating the steel industry, while the Flemish provinces have steadily developed their own industrial power to replace, partially replace the old reliance on the agricultural countryside. Even though our country is a constitutional monarchy of paper, parliamentary control over government is severely hampered. Moreover, political parties can only have legal status and participate in elections if they accept the post-field Greek status quo, such as Holzenheim monarchy, membership of the Reichspact, and other national indignities. This limitation makes legal opposition parties stu uh, stunted and ineffective. Government is advised by the Flemish Council, which consists mainly of members of the higher class, most of whom support the king and executive execute his decisions with limited political power of veto. There are two major opposition groups that seek to contest the current status quo, and as a result, have been forced underground. First, we have the Royal Catholic Party, who seek to restore Belgium and its rightful king, Albert I, currently in exile in Canada. The other large group is the Syndicalist Party, which seeks to improve worker conditions and create a socialist regime like, like that exists in the Commune of France. Both these groups have stronger ties with the Lonely region, with occasional frictions. The Catholic Party is also, however, widely accepted in the agrarian region of Flanders, which still holds on to the Catholic faith. So you want to get, I guess, the Catholic Party in charge? What, um... Are they? They are... The Social Conservatives, I think? I mean, it says Catholic Bloc, which I'm assuming means the Catholic Party. I'm not going to surrender myself to the Netherlands. Absolutely not. We were going to try to get the Entente in here. It's, again, it's like the one... The one path I don't think I've ever actually seen. Voting rights on the uh, electrical councils. Um, I think this, yeah, we're fine. For some reason, we do have a vote on the Legation Council. I'm not too sure why. And Peter Vagrell has come to power in Russia. 
strikes in the older mines. Miners and workers in nearby industrial zones have laid down their equipment to protest against inhumane conditions they are regularly being exposed to. To fill the quotas imposed by the regional industrial head, many of the workers have been forced to work 7 days a week, some for over 12 hours a day, or risk losing their jobs. The cooperation of Zolder has decided to take action and has prepared a large strike to fight against their conditions and has sworn to uphold the strike until their terms are met. So 14 days. Political power minus 50. I have a feeling that this is probably maybe going to cause um, the syndicalists, which we don't really want. So make some empty promises to, you know, help out the workers, which we're not going to do. Let's try, I just don't know exactly... <laughs> we get the Catholic, the Catholic party to actually take control. I mean, it's going to happen at some point, for sure. I, I think there's going to be, like, some sort of an event, or... The anniversary of the Antwerp killings. On the 2nd of January 1935, the country was devastated by the killing of Albert Pott and Trofen Grip two prominent members of the Antwerp Union, by affiliates of the German Shipping Company. This resulted in a nationwide strike organized by the BWP, the local cooperative, and the unions to force the government into signing a new law ensuring better working conditions and the introduction of a 40-hour work week. The government, however, decided to fight back against the strike with force leading six casualties in the Ghent Harbor and the imprisonment of over 300 union members in the following weeks. Ultimately, the strike was lifted as organizing members were locked up or threatened into submission. Today, the cooperative of Ghent as requested, the mayor of the city allowed them to organize a small ceremony in St. Spence Cathedral, commemorating the sacrifices of their members. You know what, we'll, we'll take this for now. <laughs> okay, we're no longer being affected by the strike. Provide support for Solovay Germany, Walloon Electrification. Repair the World Fair. When does this happen? It's need to happen in 1938. So I'm sure we can get that done at some point in the future. So, like, we're, we're going to be going to war with France, obviously. But we're going to have, like, the backing of the Entente. So we're... I, like, I don't know how exactly this is going to work. Because I'm hoping that Canada, you know, France, maybe India send a lot of divisions in our territory. Otherwise, we'll just get completely screwed. Ooh, African investments. We lost our African holdings in the Vild Creek. We still operate a large informal economic empire in the German Africa's colon our territories. Province from mining, rubber, and ivory trade strengthen our economy. Um, strengthen the economy of our small yet great country. There we go. Thank you for that. There we got the institute now. Follow you up with... Synthetic resource is garbage. But I mean, getting one free synthetic refinery is not that bad. We're not fully independent, so we... 4% war support? Or 4% national recruited population? That's actually incredibly good. So let's follow you up, I guess, with the Galopian Doctrine. Okay, gridlock in France. We do not care about that whatsoever. And black money has hit. And of course, it's hit Flanders Wallonia. On the second February, the German stock market crashed, resulting in an economic crisis never seen before. Flanders Wallonia, already weakened by reparations and reconstruction of its country, has been very, hit very hard. Miners have left the Brussels Stock Exchange crying and screaming, drastic action will be required to save the struggling people of Flanders Wallonia. That actually opened up a new tree here. Yes, we got you for bonus industry. You're 70 days. You're 66 days. With stocks plummeting on the Brussels Stock Exchange, thousands of citizens are flocking to the banks trying to withdraw as much cash as possible. The Society General in Brussels is panicking as they see their cash reserves quickly dwindle, urging the king to take action where the riots erupt in the streets while paying out our citizens with guaranteed stability. Um, we lose less stability, we lose a lot of political power. Um, you know what? Just withdraw your cash. We're gonna lose a lot of political power, but I feel like that's gonna destabilize Flanders Wallonia. And hopefully at that point, maybe we'll invite the Catholic Union in here. Bad investments, plummeting stocks, and their support of friendly banks all cons conspire to quickly bring the middle crits down into brutal liquidity collapse. As the financial branch of the Born Bond, the former representative body that boomed in uh, in influence at the Ville Creek due to German reliance on Middle Europa crops, thousands of farmers who had invested their capital into the organization now stand with empty pockets. 
thousands have left virtually penniless in a period of ever-increasing instability and financial insecurity. Members of Parliament have proposed the creation of CKL, or the Central Cost for Land Borstrict. <laughs> the Land Bors... Cry Diet? To support the troubled farmers by promising to provide generous subsidies to the agricultural sector upon economic recovery. While this would be a tremendous burden for the AVV and the ABB, it would greatly help the image of Albert and the pro-German regime. They'll have to save themselves. We do not want to help... We don't want to make Germany's... German view nice in Belgium. We want to... We want everybody to be mad at the, Bel at the Germans. And I guess at the current regime, because we want to kind of overthrow it. Okay, strike on the potato farmers! Angered by the government's response to the collapse of the Midden Kreuz Kree Diet Cast, thousands of farmers have driven their tractors to Brussels to protest against their mistreatment. The Catholic Party has opened a debate in Parliament, pleading for the King to allow them to allow allocate funds to keep the bread and bond from collapsing and devastating Flanders Wallonia's agricultural sector. So you, the Catholic Party has opened Parliament to allow funds into the bread and bond. Okay, we'll do that, because that's what the Catholic Party wants, and I'm hoping I'll maybe get their support up a little bit. Disaster, 17th February 1936. The 17th of February, which marks the day that Albert, Albert I was uh, crowned the King of Belgium and took control of the country, has been annually marked with celebration in the capital. Military parades and fanfare announced the start of celebrations, and at 12 o'clock, Albert uh, mounts to the balcony of the palace, watching over the war end. As he addressed the population and celebrated another peaceful year, a loud bang resounded against the stone walls of the palace. In the midst of the crowd, a group of rebels had fired a gun in the direction of the king. They shouted, Viva la Revolution! and We met the Mouf! Dozens of men and women placed at a tactical location in the crowd by the combined resistance started rallying the people and preparing to storm the palace. Police quickly mobilized and formed a protective circle around the palace gates. Now the crowd dispersed into the surrounding street revolt. The surrounding streets revolt quickly became too large for local police forces to handle. Well, here's the thing, right? I mean, I'll save the game because I don't remember exactly what we need to do to actually get the Catholic party in charge. We don't want a syndicalist revolution in Belgium. So, you know, let's send in the army. We might need to kind of reload some saves, so kind of have to, uh, just in case. The closest division was quickly mobilized and used to suppress the rioters. The riots, however, in, uh, enraged by heavily, heavy weaponry, became even more violent and attacked the palace defenses. The army was finally able to suppress the rioters by opening fire. 106 rioters found, would find their death the same day, and hundreds more arrested in the following days. We seem to have temporarily regained control, but strong measures will need to be implemented to prevent another disaster. So we are currently a negative 256 political power. I would say that's, that's pretty bad. Well, you know, just because it's bad right now doesn't mean it's going to be bad, you know, in perpetuity. Okay, you know, China's breaking apart. What are you're an anti-tank weapon? Are you you're 16 combat with? Just duplicate you, and we're just going to put in some basic infantry. Okay, infantry template one. Train up. Let's get like five guys going, even though I know we don't have enough equipment for this or enough manpower. I don't think that, um, I don't think Belgium can go nap pop. Yeah, no, we got no social conservative. They're, they're the, uh, the Catholic party. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't think Belgium has... Okay, we're no longer getting effects of the Belgian Revolution. The Japanese troops gar garrison Taijin. It seems that the economic woes have gone down hard in legation cities, and they decide to outsource much of their security operations to the Japanese. That seems like uh, our time in the legation cities is coming to an end. Uh, very, very soon. Unfortunately. Again, I, I don't know really what we get out of it. Okay. The Société Générale de la Belgique splits up. The largest cooperation of Flanders Wallonia and created by the Dutch in 1815, the Société Générale has been driving power behind much of the rapid industrialization and colonial expansion in the 19th century. After the loss of the Congo and the start of the German occupation, its power fell precariously, um, but even today they still are the most important economic institution in our nation, dominating nearly 40% of the industrial sector. Whether well, there's a storm caused by Black Monday, several members of the Liberal Party are suggesting that we hive off the unprofitable branches and salvage what we can. The General Bank would be sold off as separate subsidies to the main organization and would handle the bank's affairs independent of the intervention of the SGB. Let's go for an independent bank. We're at negative 4% stability. 
Yeah, no, the Dutch have a they 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 have a national populist fa uh, branch, but I I don't believe Belgium does. Or if they do, I've never seen it actually happen. So let's see who actually who's that say is a national populist? The Rex. They have one percent support. Like maybe if we get the Entente, then you can maybe elect the Rex. I don't know. I mean, that's is it already? I guess it's just Rex. It's not Rex. Okay, you are almost finished. Well, I mean, you're, you're about halfway done. You can hold a conference. I mean, we definitely want to. Yeah, just go down this branch before we go down the sixth of you. In an effort to stop the catastrophic impact on black money as having gone to flinch loan banks, the government has proposed the creation of the Banking Commission to oversee the crisis recovery and stop the economy from imploding. While this is guaranteed to be opposed by the British bank managers, who see this as an effort by Flanders Wallonian government to diminish their influence, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, you know what? It's anti-German, so we'll pass that for now. I'm assuming we need to do... Evaluate the state budget. We can only do that after 1936. And we'll kind of ignore everything that the Germans are doing. Catholic dominance. 1938 elections. And we gotta give power... Oh, who are you? You are the... Nominal police, centralized police force. A lot of recruited population there. Modify King Albert I in exile. After the takeover, many of the civil, civil liberties gained by Belgian citizens were taken away. By returning rights to people and restoring democracy, we hope to quell Belgian nationalism and loyalty. Well, I mean, no, we want to, like, bolster Belgian nationalism. Strong royal power. What are, what are the other ones we have here? Ban syndicalist party, increase oppression. Got a new pope. Not too. I'm not too sure when. Um, I guess I could actually probably like look it up on my phone. The foundation of the Guzen Gorup. Due to the rising tension in the industrial cities of Antwerp, a new resistance movement has been de uh, detected by our intelligence services. They are called for the Guzen Group and have seen to have gathered a ton of support around the harbor area, rallying the populace behind their cause. Um, they seem to work most underground, though, and as such, there seems to be no in intel about either their members or their leader. Okay. Please, please, how, what do you mean? Th that's my finger. Okay, open this up. Open Google. Kaiserreich Belgium Entente. That's who we want. Okay. During a routine patrol by our Antwerp Harbor Defense Force, they uncovered a group of five men trying to infiltrate the Hansen Dock. Quick action by our troops meant that they were able to capture the group, killing one man and disarming the rest. They carried small pistols designed for the Volkswagen. And seemed to have intended to sabotage the harbor trains, which were which would have disrupted vital shipping to the German Empire. Upon further investigation, three of the four men have been discovered to be officers of the Durham police, thus invoking the question of whether or not we can trust our own police forces. The Ministry of Defense has responded um, forcefully to this implication, saying that only a full overhaul of the selection and training program of the police can help prevent further trouble. Um, no, we're going to slowly increase safety checks, but we're going to basically not reform anything. Okay, how do you join that? Anton is Belgium. Foreign policy tree. It's got to be in here somewhere. Is it in the like the wiki? Usually the wiki only gives like, you know, okay, go to paths. They don't. I don't want lore. I want to know the, the paths we can take.
I don't. Okay. So basically we just we just gotta make sure everything in, in Flanders Lonia goes like the shit. And that's fine. I can I can do that. I can make sure things in the country go to hell. Okay, let us go for assemble the industrial community. Let's get that going. We do have some research as well. Um go for concentrate industry one. How many guns are we missing? We're missing... Actually, not that many. We're only missing a few hundred. But we are missing a lot of manpower, which we really just do not have right now. Yeah, the German sympathizers are currently in charge of the country. And we don't want the German sympathizers to be in charge. For obvious reasons. Mayday in the Silicon Industrial. As the first of May approaches, the leftist underground movements are preparing for a large demonstration of their resolve and passion for the syndicalist cause. Throughout the entire Silon Industrial, workers will uh, down their tools in order to celebrate the syndicalist holiday. Just like last year, the date will be accomplished, or accompanied with marches throughout the cities of Namur and Liège, publicly chanting the Internationale and engaging other activities forbidden by the government. While we could do the march, we could, while we could, the marches go ahead peacefully, showing those that we do not have yet joined the movement that we can be tolerated of dissent. Our German commanders have expressed their desire to act with heavy force. We'll only act as required. Again, we, we don't want to have Germany influence our actions too, too much. Okay, like, how many of these units do we have can actually be trained properly? Okay, well, at least three. You are missing manpower. I guess you're all actually missing. Okay, so two of them can actually be trained fully. Follow you up by getting our uh, king in charge. Even though I'm sure he will be replaced very, very soon. Well, hopefully very, very soon. Okay, we're no longer getting the effects of strikes. Our Furry are still a puppet. So we, you know, our options are a little limited right now. Let's see. You know, what else is happening around the world? So we know the Baltic Duchy has fallen apart. Russia is just kind of doing its own thing. Nothing too crazy there. Anche and the KMT are at war. What's Middle Africa doing? They are currently... Still undergoing, nothing too crazy has happened with them. Mexico's gone totalist. But aside from that, I don't think anything is too different than what we would basically expect at this point in the game. We might as well also get a invasion plan going. Just get that ready to go into Paris. Also, yeah, we should see what, what resource do we have in... We basically, we only have steel. What do we need a tungsten for? We need a tungsten for anti-tank and artillery and also light tanks. Okay, so I mean, we're missing five. We will import one from Portugal. Seems like an okay choice. We do have a decent amount of civilian factories, so I'm not too worried about not having enough factories for that. And you guys will be deploying soon because you're at 99%. You actually are missing some support equipment. Strikes in Ghent. After a heavy suppression in February, which involved uh, dispersing protesters in the capital of brutal force, many of the smaller actions throughout the country dissipated, fearing more bloodshed. However, to show the government that they have not managed to completely extinguish the flame of resistance, over 30,000 farmers and workers across Ghent province have entered the city and amassed in the Kaiser Wilhelm Square and the surrounding park. The gathered assembly has been protesting heavily against the violent action taken by the Flanders Wallonia regime and the recent reforms undertaken against the Flemish Council. The local VS Watch is keeping a close eye on the process to ensure the escalation in Brussels is prevented. Ah, uh, you know what? Disperse them all before us. That seems okay. That seems like a, a, a good thing to happen. So maybe... Okay, bloodbath at Siriang. During the break, we get another strike at Siriang. Uh, the army was between the, the Vlaimishvak and the so strikers suddenly turned violent when a shot was fired by a commanding officer, killing him instantly. The Vlaimishvak immediately returned fire, and after a hail of bullets and blood, 53 strikers lay dead on the ground. 
If it had become clear that our VS walk is not at all prepared for dealing with this kind of insurgency, then we need to take large-scale actions to overhaul the training process. Uh, Hydrate Ellis, head of the Vyak, has suggested that boosting their numbers would be more than enough to solve the problems. Now, you know, let's overhaul the training process. Just get our, stability as, our political power as low as we possibly can. That's usually, like... In Kaiserate, the lower your political power, typically the more unstable your country is. Let's go then for, you know what, let's get basic radios. So you're a syndicalist, syndicalist, and syndicalists are just going very, very um, standard here. And I don't think any one of you is doing anything too surprising either. Poland right now is in the great debate. We'll see if they end up going with Austria, going with Germany, or becoming their own independent faction. Let's get our free civilian factory. Get our two free units, deploy them to the wars of front lines. So let's just train up, let's say, two units for now. That's going to be an extra ten, which is basically going to completely fill this up. And our nice full 17. I mean, 17 units for Belgium is not that bad. Okay. The Polish military seized control of the country. Usually means that they're more likely to back the Rush or yeah, back the Russians in the future. Or they're gonna go national populist, one or the other. We don't know which way really the United States is currently going. Mexico being told us means that during the Civil War. The 11th of July, 1302, is always remembered as a date of great victory over the French army at the at the Gurdjieff Sportschlag. On that day, an inferior Flemish army supported by troops from the Emir defeated the far superior French knights. This victory marked an important uh, point in the creation of the independent Flemish movement and immortalized the Roman by de Julva von Vladerin by Heydrich Conscious. As many see our current national strength as dire back then, support for the movement is at an all-time high. You know what? Suppress any festivities. And we'll see how this goes. No festivities are allowed currently in Flanders Wallonia. On the 11th of July. So we're going to suppress even more stuff now. 11th of July, 1302. I think this is the exact same event we just had. So we're going to suppress the movement once again. What is this? This is living conscription of international citizens. Going to vote no on that one. Who voted yes? Maybe the Japanese? I don't really know. But you're not allowed to conscript foreign troops into your armed forces. Right now you are market liberal, which is, yeah, the Americans. Got a coup d'etat in Siam. You know, other than that, I don't think anything really is uh, happening in anywhere else. The vote fails. Okay, we don't care. Um. Because after you're done, let's start building more convoys. We'll double rifle production, because having just one faction of rifles is not good. And a legation navy. We'll vote yes on that. We got four yes votes on the uh, for that, so they're going to have their own navy force very soon. Uh, that seems nice for them. You can see the French army right now is currently training on the other side of the border. I mean, I guess we could train as well, but I mean, what do we really get out of that? I don't think too, too much. We're missing 2,500 infantry equipment. We're missing a lot of support equipment as well. 515 days. 804 days. Our industry is really, for at least for our weapon production, is just nowhere near good enough right now. Which is a little unfortunate.
Anyway, state budget. We're not fully independent quite yet. Like, we, we need to... Paraguay falls to syndicalism. Really? Wait, 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 wait. I don't think I've ever seen Paraguay actually go socialist. It doesn't seem like a thing they do very often. Well, well yeah, we're okay with this. Follow you up with... 26 deal in Liège seems, like, really good. Because Liège is... Where is Liège? You're Liège? Yeah. Get 26 steel here. On straight industry one, coup d'etat in Algier. Concentrated industry two. So it looks like Henry Modak is currently in charge of the French Republic. Not that that I think matters too much for us right now. So dealing with Black Monday. What are the other modifiers we got? We got the Salve Institute. Anti-German sentiment. The linguistic debacle. And the king is in exile. 30% war support. That's, that's actually that's quite a bit. And more wars are breaking out currently in Asia. Uh, games paw. Okay, there we go. The Chinese Revolt, we'll see how they kind of end up doing. If they end up, you know, naval invading Saigon. If the Germans are our land in Saigon, that basically is the end of the revolt. Other than that, we got some wars going on over here. Another war broke out again yeah, in, in Arabia as well. Do we care about Jamil or Shamir? I mean, I guess we want the on or we want the Ottomans to be strong, because they actually can join the Reich's Pact, which usually allows for but they join the Reich's Pact that they can be used maybe against the Internationale, perhaps. Probably won't be like the strongest force, but not gonna be the weakest force either. I do like these guys who's sitting on a bicycle. What even is the bicycle unit? Apparently they got anti-tanks. I don't know how you're gonna fit an anti-tank gun on a bicycle, but you know, you do you. Henry Kenley and uh, announces Gant Mayor Candacy. Our current head of the Vyalshwak has announced his ambition to run for mayor of the industrial city of East Flanders. While it's clear that he isn't highly loved by the local population, some assistance from our side may be guaranteed a loyal mayor in the city. Let's curtail his ambitions. Apparently gives more support for the Social Democrats, I'm not too sure why. And it's still 1936. Let's go for the next level of construction. Get all our industry tech as, you know, as good as they possibly can be right now. You'll be done in 15 days. I'm hoping we haven't, like, missed our opportunity to do the Independent Belgium. I'm not too sure. I mean, if we end up just playing Flanders Alonia, it's going to be a little bit disappointing, but... Can't prove relations to you. Expand our stuff here. Economic policy. We can nationalize some things. But of course, we have no political power to do anything. Okay, Jack, he's been elected president of the United States, which basically means, hey. Okay, let's evaluate the state budget. We'll do a. We advise uh, revisiting the army budget. While our generals have reportedly urged our government to allocate them more funds so that they can bolster the army, the restrictions imposed by the German Empire made impossible for their request to be accepted. We complete our auxiliary force. Which is the, yeah, the pro-German. Partition Berlin to be, to get an independent military, um, faction going on. And I have a feeling that they're going to probably say no. I mean, I guess they might say yes. I don't know. Actually, no, they can't say yes. The only way that we can even do this is 
I guess it's just one of the following must be true. British in Berlin. It just has to be one or the other. So you know what? Maybe if we do this, cannot be canceled manually. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, you've lifted army um, restrictions. You've got an independent army. Partition Berlin for this as well. I need to be as independent as possible. We will go for X Station 1. It's going to give me a lot more steel, which I can use for exports. Go for more guns here. I wonder I wonder if I've waited too long. <laughs> and we're we're no longer able to go independent. You've lifted naval restrictions on us. The straight treasury investigation. Uh you're at war. Yeah, I think about the fact that we could even do this focus means that we're already too late to forming an independent uh, Belgium. Okay, every year a special commission is established by parliament to investigate the entire monetary balance of the country. This has, since the start of the occupation, traditionally been the role of the members of the Flemish Council. However, due to recent events, the king has become more inclined to let an outside German commission investigate to make sure that any corruption or covert operations are discovered. Uh, this would cause a control in the parliament, though, as members would see as yet another power grab by the king and the German puppets. You know what? If that's the case, then rely on the Germans here. Because, I mean, we want to try to do a power grab. Yeah, I think we, it might be too late for us to do Belgium. Which is, you know, unfortunate, but we can always, uh... We can always do another campaign in the future if, that, if that's uh, required. Radar stations... Let's get some infrastructure here. I, I thought... Hmm. Let's see. It needs to go really bad. It's not like it, like it doesn't just like tell you, hey, this is exactly what you need. So we had to we had to wait out 